I was very, very new to relic hunting, and um, this was early 2000s, mm -hmm. and we were hunting in Virginia, and... It was um, um, actually at, uh, I think it was near Bell's Point. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So, you know, everybody kind of goes their separate ways everywhere hunting, and I found this, and the cool thing was it was lying this way in the ground. It wasn't like this, and I had no clue what I had. I didn't know what it was. I was still very new to all this, and I put it in my coat pocket. It was cold <laughs> weather. <laughs> I had on a big, heavy coat, <clears throat> and about an hour or so later, I come upon Butch and another guy who was there, and I was like, I found this thing with an eagle, <laughs> and he about croaked, <laughs> and he was like, you have that in your pocket? And the cool thing about it is that it's complete, because normally there's such thin brass that when you find them, they're in pieces. It is missing the pin from the back but it was complete, especially being in the ground that way. Um, but I, I mean, then everybody's telling me what it was and everybody wanted to know where I found it because there had to be everything else to go with it that came off the hat, the hat letters and the numbers and stuff like that. So everybody goes over to where I'd found it and nothing else was found. So somebody probably had found the letters and, mm. and anything else that were on this hat at one time and just missed this. Um, you know, and at the time I was using a detector that's actually defunct now, they don't even make them anymore. Um, and at the same time, I found a curb chain, which is kind of cool, that's used for um, curbing the horses. And um, he's never found one. I have a wounded one. <laughs> <laughs> and a burn side bullet. And uh, something we're not quite sure what it is. But the coolest thing ever to me, and, and part of the coolness is in my naivete, I won't say ignorance, in my naivete, you know, not knowing what it was, it was just, you know, oh, that's cool, I'll mm -hmm. stick it in my pocket. Um, I didn't even have a pouch, I don't think, it was just a coat pocket. <laughs> and, um, but learning about it afterwards and learning that it's Jeff Davis hat band um, or um, Hardy hat badge, whichever, and then, so it has been living in the curio at our house ever since until um, I was getting it for the trip here and it wasn't where it had always been and I found out he had done some rearranging and it was almost a bad day but I recovered it. was it. on our anniversary. <laughs> and I could not find it. Was it was almost our last anniversary <laughs> if I had not found where I put I'm like, where there. is it? So he had rearranged things in the curio and I ended up finding it on top of the curio. <clears throat> so it's going to go in a better place now. It's a miracle that the tips of the arrows and the tips of the olive branch not only survived 150 years, but it survived all day in your coat pocket. <laughs> that was probably it's the closest I had come like to a heart attack. Really, right? Especially in ground that freezes. And yeah, and all, right. and all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Very, and it was near common. like farm equipment. It was like a little incline, yeah. and there was not a tractor, but some kind of farm equipment that was like parked right there. Mm -hmm. That's and I beauty. think a lot of people avoided that spot just because there was a pile of farm contamination. Junk, you know, and I just was like, oh, okay, I'll go up this hill. Sometimes new hunters find things like that because they do go where the old hunters right. won't go. Right. They're not biased to exactly. any type yeah. of terrain or area. And there was something else in the hole because she showed me where it was. I went immediately over to the hole at about, uh, I don't know, a foot or so. I got this really good sounding signal and I dug down. I thought, this is going to be the hat letters. It was a beanie weenie can, so a modern day beanie weenie can. I think probably that dirt had been moved from some other part of the farm and piled up there where it was. But that's my, my little favorite relic.